Mark Parkinson clearly um, emphasized this morning that, that we need to talk about the state of the profession and, and the fact that there are um, you know, so many financial challenges that are going on and that are causing some, some fallout um, within the profession. We've seen that in Ohio. We've seen a lot of turnover of buildings. Um, haven't seen too many go out of business um, other than through state action but we have seen a great deal of transition among our membership um, and unfortunately in some cases it's been folks that have come in and have not uh, stayed as members of the association after buying up uh, facilities that were leaving a, a, a company that um, found them to be distressed locations. Uh, so that's one of the issues. Um, uh, the other issue is, is the improvement in quality. Um, and the quality measures, how we were doing better on 20 out of 24 of them um, over the, the, the years and the efforts that HCA has put into the quality initiative and really trying to lead on quality. Um, we've seen that in Ohio as well and uh, as a matter of fact, I, not long ago I sent a, a letter to um, all of our members of the General Assembly um, and some of the candidates for office this year um, explaining the new quality initiative and, and, and providing some data on how Ohio, Ohio facilities have done on uh, various quality measures, which um, similar to the national experience, we've seen um, some, some nice improvement in those areas. Great. And so your membership in Ohio is really attached to the quality drive and really gone after this to seize the benefits obviously of doing so? We've, we've seen that. Um, we, we also have in Ohio a uh, reimbursement um, element that's tied to quality. Um, it's not exactly the same, uh, but it uses some of the same measures and so that has highlighted that as well. Um, we do a lot of education around, around topics um, to help members provide good services. Um, it's one of the one of the important core things that we do.